Hey there YouTubers, it's Will here. I got a how-to video for you today. I'm going to show you how to forward ports through your router. Some applications and hardware may require you to forward ports and I'm going to show you how that works and show you how to get it done. Alright guys, uh, the first step to forwarding ports to your computer is knowing what IP address your computer has. And when I say IP address, I don't mean your public IP address but the um, private IP address that your router gives to your computer and every computer that's connected to the router. So uh, the first thing you need to do is find that. If you're on a Mac, you can um, hit the system preferences and then go to network and find the interface that you're currently connected with uh, and with the wireless connection, um, your IP address is shown right there. On the wire connection, I think it probably would show you under the TCP IP um, but since it's not connected, it won't show anything. But if you are in, if you're on a PC, you can open um, the command prompt and type in ipconfig, uh, ipconfig, uh, ipconfig, and it will show you your IP address as well as your default gateway, which is typically your router IP address, which we will need also. Um, for your Mac, if you want to find the default gateway, you can come in here and the default default gateway is right there. They actually label it router because that's typically what it is. Um, but you'll need that for later. So the first thing you need to do or the second thing you need to do is log into your router. So one, uh, you're going to type in the IP address of your default gateway aka your router which is typically 192.168.1.1 and you hit that and you should be prompted with a login window. The default login for um, Linksys routers is username admin password admin. If that does not work, you should just Google default logins for whatever router you have. Uh, so if you have a Linksys router, Google default passwords for Linksys, and it will. There's a website that will show it to you. Uh, if you've got a Netgear router, do the same thing, but put Netgear in there. So um, I get lots of questions about the login not working and if it none of the de defaults work you can hold the reset button down on the back of the router and it should reset everything to its defaults which include those includes the password um, logins so uh, if you're having a problem logging in I would try those things alright so we're logged in um, we're almost logged in there we go uh, the all the different uh, Linksys, all the different the, some of the Linksys systems are different some of the um, the different routers are different but uh, with Linksys, the tab for port forwarding is typically called application and gaming. Um, you might have something called port forwarding, um, which would be an obvious choice. So you can see that I have a bunch of different port, uh, uh, ports forwarded here. Uh, you can see I have SSH, VNC, I have a torrent one, Xbox Live, a bunch of them forwarded. Uh, each one of these applications require a specific um, port to be forwarded to it, and this is how you do it. Uh, if, if you're requested by the app to forward it, you just come in here, you put the port, um, external port to the internal port as the same port because you're just trying to get the port to your to your um, computer. And uh, you're going to typically just hit both. Sometimes if you see this one, I have TCP because they specifically say to forward the TCP. But if you hit both, you're really not going to hurt anything. Um, and then you, need, you forward it to your um, computer's um, IP address which we looked at earlier and hit the enable button and hit the save settings button it should uh, reload the little screen um, give you a uh, continue button or something like that to push and it should bring you back here uh, the the uh, the other thing is okay so you have your ports forwarded now that's great but if your router gives will your router will randomly give out IP addresses to your computers in the order that they connect to the router so your computer might not always have the same local IP address, so we need to make sure it stays fixed. And the best way to do that is using a cool feature on the Linksys router called DHCP Reservations. You click that and it brings up a little window, and this window lets you select devices in your network that um, you can reserve that, that IP address for. So I already have it set up for my Mac, and it's the uh, 102 address here. And every time my Mac connects to my router, it gives it that IP address and no other computer will get that one which means that it's pretty much static uh, if your computer if your router and the router software does not have this option what you can do is put your computer manually put your computers IP address 
outside of the router's um, address range. So, and you can find the address range on your router in somewhere in the basic setup like it is on mine. Um, you can see that my maximum number of users is 50, which means the highest IP address it will give one of the computers is the last three numbers being 149. So if you give your computer something like 150 at, as the last three numbers, you should be fine and your router should never um, give another computer your IP address and there won't be some kind of IP, IP address conflict because that will happen especially if you have a lower IP address like 102 or 103. Um, if you try to fix it like that, it gives some other device that, and then there's a conflict. So um, give it something bigger. Uh, you can do that uh, right in your system preferences back in the network where we were. Just open that up. Go to the network. And hit advanced. And then the TCP IP tab. Um, you can select this little box and hit manual and all these things stay the same except for you just come in here and enter a new IP address that's going to be outside of the IP range for your router which 150 would be fine and you can hit OK and it would fix that for you. Something else you should do uh, administration tab always have the UPnP enabled because that helps uh, ports get forwarded through your router as well. Um, random ports uh, that come through that need to get to a specific application, this will help it find its way. Um, it's basically like a automatic port forwarding, um, but you should also have that enabled. So go for it. Uh, forward your ports. Yay. All right, well, that's it. Um, Ports forwarded through your router and static IP addresses for your computer. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I try hard to answer questions if I can, um, but I obviously can't get to everyone if there's lots of comments. But um, don't forget to hit the little plus button, a little thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And that's it for me. Peace.